Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Just wanted to get out a quick little video regarding this 2-1 buy down calculator. I've attached it to this email as well. Wanted to just run through a quick tutorial. The boxes in white, as this says, buy down calculator, complete the fields in white. That's these boxes, that's it. That's all you've got to concentrate on. So if we've got a purchase price of 700,000, a loan amount of 600,000, a rate of 7%, and of course the term at 30, the payment that it's showing here is the principal and interest payment for the borrower. What's important is to go down here to your buy down calculator and what you'll see is this first year effective rate. Remember when they're doing the buy down, they're taking the rate that they lock at this 7%, and they're getting a two percentage point reduction for the first year, a one percentage point reduction for the second year, and then they end up at the third year at the rate that they would have been had they not taken the buy down out of the gate. So this breaks it down for you, the 5%, this is the monthly principal and interest, as you can see. Here's the monthly subsidy. What that means is that's the dollar amount the escrow account is paying between the 5% rate and the 7% rate every single month. At the end of the first year, they've used up 9250.56 of their total subsidy, which we see down here is the 13,984.68. If you change any of these boxes, you'll see this total subsidy change. So if I go in and say loan amount is 500,000, right? Uh, do we have 500,000? How about add another zero there? 500,000, that subsidy changes down to 11,653.92. If I change interest rate, it changes again. And so how does this help you? First of all, it helps you negotiate your pure dollars on a buy down. But if you're on the listing side, it also helps you when somebody's coming at you with a seller credit of 20 grand or 30 grand or whatever it may be, you can break this down in the buy down calculator as to really how much of it goes to the buy down. And does that alter your negotiations? All I want to go through to finish this up is the rest of this are the other buy down calculators. So here's a one year buy down, here's a 111 buy down, here's a one and a half and a half buy down, and here's the 321 buy down. The reason the 321 buy down is a sweet uh, buy down because effectively it buys them down three percentage points for the first year, right? Then two, then one, then they're at the original rate. But look at that subsidy. It's double what the subsidy is on the 2-1 buy down. That's what makes the 2-1 buy down so much better, I guess, is because it's more palatable to both seller and to, and, and it works for buyer. They're getting the effectiveness of their interest rate reduction and the seller is not putting out this mass amount of money. But that's the rest of this calculator. So hopefully that helps you and you can use this as a tool when you're calculating with your buyers. All, as always, reach out to me if you have any questions at all. Thanks so much. I appreciate it.